Today I'm going to show you how you can use Nmap to enumerate TSO user accounts on a mainframe. Before we get too far, let me show you what TSO is so you can understand why we might want to get user IDs. So I'm going to connect to the mainframe using X3270 and I'm going to type TSO to get to the time sharing option and I'm going to log in. Now I have a user account on the system and I am now logged into TSO. TSO is essentially like the bash prompt of a mainframe. From here, I could list the catalog. I can do things like list data sets. So here I have a data set called asm.exe. I can also list the contents of that data set by typing the same command we did as above, but this time providing the members option. And you can see here, I have two files. Now if I wanted to execute one of these files, I can just use the call command and provide it the data set name and the member. So that's TSO in a nutshell. So now I'm going to walk through what the script actually does to enumerate user accounts. First, we're going to connect to the system again. And this time we're going to say TSO plague. So this is saying log on to TSO, supply the user ID plague. Notice here it is locked my user ID and I can only enter a password. I'm going to log off here and watch what happens when I connect again, but this time provide an invalid user ID. It tells me that the user ID actually doesn't work. So now if I type plague in here again, it is a valid user ID. Using Nmap, we can actually automate this process and start enumerating user IDs. Now when I logged in, I was actually supplying the user ID at the prompt here by typing TSO plague. Instead of it doing it that way, I could also use the log on Apple ID command TSO and provide the subcommand data with the same user ID to log in. Finally, I'm going to show you what it looks like if you encounter a login screen or a mainframe screen that has no default application supplied. So that looks like this. And you can see here, no installation default. If I tried to provide the user ID here, it actually breaks. So what I'm going to do instead is I just save TSO as the application name, hit enter, and now I can put in a fake or real user ID and it tells me, you know, that user ID is not authorized. So then I can try various other IDs until I find a correct one. Now let me show you how you can use Nmap to enumerate user accounts. So here we have a version of Nmap that I compiled today. And we're going to use it to check that the ports on our mainframe are actually, in fact, open. So I'm not going to resolve any names. They, they're open. And I'm just going to make sure it's actually TN3270, which it is. From here, we're going to use the script tso emu Next, we're going to set some script arguments. Since the script uses the unpassword database, we can just do user db equals dot slash users dot text. Since this is a test system, I'm going to actually slow it down a little by supplying the brute dot threads equals one and brute dot start equals one. And then I'm going to turn up verbosity. As you can see, it's trying various user IDs and trying to guess what those user IDs are and starts finding valid user IDs. So you can see the script was able to find valid user IDs. Now by default, the script is actually using the TSO command. So like in the demos, we just type TSO. It's using that command to access TSO. If we wanted to, we can actually change which command it's using to log onto the mainframe. So from here, we just pass the TSO enum.commands argument and supply it with a semicolon separated list of commands you need to issue to get to TSO. So for example, I can issue the IBM test command followed by log on Apple ID A06 TSO. And we'll see the exact same thing happened as we did before when I hit enter. As you can see, you can either use the default TSO, but if that doesn't work, you can also use the log on Apple ID command to do the testing. 
once you have a list of valid user IDs, from here, you can use the TSO brute force script to actually start trying to brute force passwords on these accounts. To disable this kind of attack is very easy. Um, in recent versions of RACF, Top Secret, TSO, there is an option to check for a password before you get to the login panel. It won't give you any error messages, it'll just say either the user ID or the password is invalid. So here I'll show you, so we're gonna log on, Apple ID TSO, I'm gonna enter a fake user ID, and now instantly it says enter password. If I make up a fake password, it just kicks me out and says user ID or password is incorrect. To turn this option on, you simply add the password pre-prompt option to the login field within your TSO startup library. So again, here we have Nmap and we hit enter. And this time TSO enumeration is going to actually error out and tell us that the password pre-prompt has been turned on, thus making the script unusable. So here you can see that enumeration is not possible because password pre-prompt has been turned on. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Or you can follow me on Twitter at Mainframed767.